What's up YouTube? It's your boy Lopes and welcome back to another video. Today we'll be installing the 271 strut bar on my tension, so I guess not. Let's get into it. This is how the bay is looking so far. It's definitely in need of a strut bar and I'm super excited to put in the 271 strut bar for many reasons. I'll talk about it shortly and I'll, I'll show you guys basically how it's looking. We already have the 271 TIP and we have the 271 W1 Turbo. So I'm a 271 advocate and I really, really like the products just because of how much R&D they do into them and how good of quality they have. I'm super excited to put this in and I'm excited to see how the car drives afterwards and if it stiffens it up at all. We've already opened this up. I'm excited to try it out. Jeez, the struggle's real to get it out. The struggle is real. Oh. <laughs> all right, let's just drop this down right here. And look at this. Look at this. What else? Nothing. We are good. So this is what comes in the box. Uh, we got the strut bar, and what this looks like to be is a negative. So I think we're going to be extending the negative just a bit, and then we have this here, which needs to be opened up. I like their packaging and everything looks pretty cool. Let's open this up and check out what's inside. Sick. Look at that. So this is the brake master cylinder brace. Um, this is going to help with flex, especially when you track the car and drive. It's going to keep the brake master cylinder pretty sturdy and not give it any flex within it. And uh, it's a nice little piece, a nice little upgrade. I like the quality, the finish and everything on it. This is why I really like 271. It's because their quality is unmatched. Quality of the strut bar is absolutely fantastic. The welds and everything are really good. What I really like about this, it's not like those three piece design strut bars. It is a tubular design and it's solid. And what I like about it, there's no flex, no play because everything is welded. That makes the biggest difference in the car and stiffening it up. Uh, some of these hollow strut bars don't do really much. They're more aesthetics, but this I think is actually going to do something and I'm super excited to try it out and see how it goes. So let's say hello to Alex, what's up stud? Going, huh? So he's actually been behind the camera for once, but now what we're gonna do is we are going to basically place this on just so that when we slide in the strut bar, it'll be easier for us to basically do everything. Uh, I'm excited to put this on. I'm really excited to see how much of a difference this makes and if I really even feel a difference. We're gonna do a full review of the strut bar in an upcoming video, so stay tuned for that. But I'm actually super hyped. Most strut bars are just cosmetic, but this actually has some purpose to it. To install the brake cylinder brace, it's pretty simple. It's a two bolt design. Now what you're gonna do afterwards is you're gonna have to adjust this right here. If I get a little closer, you can see. You see how there is two, there's two nuts there. You're gonna have to adjust that to your brake master cylinder so that you can put enough pressure on it properly so it's effective. So it's a pretty simple install. We're gonna release the three bolts on the struts there and three bolts on those struts there. That's why it's called a strut bar because you're using the existing strut and you're using the bolts and the hardware from that to basically mount it and it's gonna go all the way like this. And what that's gonna do is tighten up the chassis of the car. You're gonna grab a 10 socket or two 10 wrenches and you're gonna have to tighten them together as you can see. We are going to release all three bolts here and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. They may be a little tight, so just give it some love. Luckily, it's a new car, so nothing should be seized.
All right, so we've loosened it, we've taken all the nuts off, and now we're gonna get the strut bar, and we're gonna place it. And look at that, the fitment is absolutely great. How's your side, Alex? Uh, that's good. Wow, look at that, I actually really like that. We are going to bolt everything back down, so we're just gonna put the nuts back on it. Like I said, it's an insanely easy install. So these are gonna to have to be torqued down to 45 to 47 pounds of torque. Uh, make sure you have a torque wrench for that. We are going to use a normal socket to tighten them down as much as we can by hand. And then afterwards, we are going to do that. As you can see, the design is quite flawless. It's a guaranteed fit. That's why I really like it, and it's super, super nice. Um, I'm actually, I actually really like it. Like it adds something to the bay now. Like my bay wasn't too fancy. Um, the valve cover was super nice, but I think that actually made a, a nice little difference to it. Not gonna lie. I'm excited to see how she feels on the road. Correct stance to insert. The correct stance to tightening the nuts on the brake master cylinder brace is this. Wide stance, nice wide stance. Just hip over the front grill, <laughs> and then uh, just reach right in. These two main bolts, so put them in, tighten them by hand, make sure they're still a little loose, and then what you're gonna make sure is that is loose there also, so that you can position that guy perfectly onto the brake master cylinder. And then you tighten these guys here, and then tighten that at the end. So basically, align everything, make sure it's placed properly, tighten it by hand, and then afterwards, what you're gonna do is make sure it's tight there. The 271 strut bar matches the 271 TIP perfectly. I think this is a awesome, awesome upgrade, and I highly, highly recommend it. If you're looking to purchase any of these parts, Use the link down below, check out their website, and when purchasing it, there's a comment section. Make sure to leave the word Lopes. Let them know that you are part of the Lopes squad, the Lopes fam. Trust me when I say their quality, their products are A++. You'll love them. So something that came in my pack of the 271 was this negative. I think certain models will need it. Um, I know they said non or type bars wouldn't, but the negative on my car is the exact same size, same everything, but a few of the models, you'll see that your negative is smaller. So you're just gonna replace this negative that you would have here with the one they give you just because the length is a little longer. I'm not sure because I'm from Canada, if there's a difference. Uh, there's some minor differences between the Canadian models and the US, so I think this may be one of them too. Or I just got lucky and they gave me a Type R negative. Not sure, but you will have one of these and it's 210 mils, super simple. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. This was absolutely an easy install, probably one of the easier ones, but I'm super excited to get in the cart and actually test it. Stay tuned for that video that is coming up. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Peace out, do it once, do it right, later.